Anagata, the British Virgin Islands, the adventure travelers. So ferry to Anagata. You want to go up top? There were only 10 people going to Anagata today. The ferry ride only took about an hour and it was stunning. little green goat car and you got the goats over here whoa it's a beautiful island <laughs> roundabout <laughs> <laughs> and we're on the left side of the road and our little trippy jeepy thing i don't even know what it's called Driving, honey. I'm driving this little mini car. <laughs> a glorified uh, golf cart, I guess. I don't know what it is. Well, there's not much leg room for Mr. Michael. It's a trip. But but we'll be out of the rain if there is. Yeah, because so. as you can see, the sky's getting a little dark. So yep. we're Sweet. prepared. The flamingos were so far away, the drone couldn't even get to them. But here's what they look like through the binoculars. So pretty here. It really is amazingly quiet. It's just a flat, one road island with a small airport actually. So we're on Anagata. It's beautiful and very quiet. We came over on the ferry. It took about an hour and it there's literally nobody around. It's so quiet and pretty. It's awesome. It's peaceful. Come on down to Anagata. <laughs> you can see how <laughs> Little the car is compared to Michael. That's hilarious. It's a perfect car for Melissa. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. It is so much better having somebody else sail you <laughs> to the wonderful place. <laughs> Instead of spending 28 days at sea or whatever it would take to sail from uh, San Diego, it would take a lot longer than that. But in uh, one day, we flew from San Diego to uh, the British or the, to the American Virgin Islands, and now we're in British Virgin Islands. Love it. Look how relaxed I am. I didn't <laughs> sail for days and months and whatever. And this is just as good as if I sailed here. And you got to shave. <laughs> Michael Edinburgh. Don't get too close. <laughs> I always say that. <laughs> oh, he's got a cute little face.
going through a pretty good squall. That's the reason why we got this little thing instead of a, a scooter. Right. We'd be pretty hosed in a scooter right now. Yeah, a little rain's not going to hurt, but... It, it would be uncomfortable if yeah. you went all day. Yeah. You know, I mean, we're here all day, so... It gets pretty cold when you're wet. So... We're at the big bamboo. Again, nobody here. Wait, I take that back. I think I see some goats. It's kind of a cute little place. Follow the Blue Brick Borough Road. Nobody here. The flash of beauty bar and grill and uh, the waves are a little turbulent out there we didn't really want to um, go out there and go snorkeling it looks a little crazy so we're gonna cruise back hop in our ride Melissa's playing with the kitties well I guess along with some of the trash you've got some beautiful shells just kind of sitting around Yep, there's some more over here. I don't know if the hurricane brought them in or somebody or what, but pretty cool. Just sitting there. I'm gonna look at them, but we can't do anything with them, obviously. Wow, gorgeous island. Michael's uh, putting up the drone. Not anyone in sight. Oh, a random toy car. Scott, I know you can repair almost anything. <laughs> I don't know if you can repair this one. <laughs> no, he's a genius, I'm pretty sure. Wait. So we're walking out to this red mud flat area kind of trippy. I don't know if you can see it, but there's cows over there in the distance or some animals, a little sandpiper, but it looks cool. It's very squally today. There's another big squall coming, so we got to get out there and come back and, uh, ugh, kind of nasty. here at the Calreg Beach Club and it is beautiful. We're gonna go over there and have a beer, relax on the beach, and again we are almost the only people here. There's one other couple down there. That's it. Look at that. No Photoshop needed.
Okay, well I guess Anagata is uh, known for its kiteboarding. And going out here, all that is seagrass out there. And really, really pretty. Okay, the sky has cleared. We're in the far east end. If you were to go straight out that way, that's Africa. So we're gonna go snorkeling now and hopefully it's a little better. Okay, it's almost four o'clock and we have to catch a five o'clock ferry. Uh, and we're at the lobster trap right now. And what, waiting for our lobster sandwich. Yeah, we're having a lobster sandwich. And what's so up? what just happened uh, with the gals are, we were at a reef and it was the furthest reef on the island. Beautiful, beautiful, the best snorkeling we've had all day. Right. And uh, the it looks like the hurricane hit them pretty hard. And we felt bad and we're gonna stop and have lunch. We were the only people there. So on our way back, you know, to have lunch, uh, we noticed that they had closed up and we just asked what's, you know, is our kitchen still open? And they said, well, we can't get our car started. So uh, Mike said, well, Hop hey, in. Yeah, yeah, if you want to lift into town, we'll do that. And we said, they said, sure. And we so we said, had a, we had a nice uh, meeting and uh, hung out with them on the way into their house. So it was pretty cool. Yeah, it was fun. We like to pay it forward. Yeah. See ya. I don't know, Scott. I'm thinking your boat would fit in perfect here. Look at this. Nice and chill. Little dinghy dock. We're at the lobster trap on Anagata Island. Join our journey. We know you have questions and comments. The Adventure Travelers. 